Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, Beltran, love ya, lover. You know, I'm a lover of all sorts of different kinds, but hope well, you guys are having a pretty good day. Right now, we are at war with the Free Fighters because they have gone to war with us, not with them, but they have gone to war with us, and we're doing all right. <clears throat> we're going to try to make an encirclement up here-ish, if possible, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, there was a, a comment saying that it's good to see that you're still going strong, Mr. Mocha Lover, with the eight, Old World Blues A to Z series, and I'm like... It hasn't broken my sanity yet. We still got at least 24 more letters to go through, so we'll see when we get there. Oh, uh, you know what? You guys attack there. And you help out so they don't move. I want you to stay there, though. Because we gotta go into here and go there. Uh, yeah. Head on out, y'all. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. And you go right there. Any sort of segment is a good thing. That we can make against the enemies. Not against us, of course, but against the enemies. Oh, um, uh, well, that's incredible. Don't let them move anymore. Do not let them move anymore. We have those militia, come on, and. Oh, we got a small one. It's only three divisions, but that's fine, whatever. And there you go. Nice. And what are we doing right now? We're doing Armaments of Avarice, which I read last time, so if you read this again, please go right ahead. I read a lot of these last time because I didn't know how far we would get with this so far. So, we still got some of our land option to do, which is fine. And we need way more army XP. Defense, oh yes, oh yes, please. Alright. Nothing we can do about this stuff, that's fine. And you guys come here. You guys come here. We definitely need more special forces equipment though. Or I guess guns. Special forces equipment, we are, yeah, we definitely do. Um, you. Here, to there. You down here. Go. Nice. Let's go right there. Brosif. You hold. You do that. All right. So let's take a look. See, we're still building up some more civvies, which is not bad. But start building up some more millies. Come on, you got this, Gaspar Rinson. Gallardo, 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 Gallardo. Nice. Nice. And it's just enough over there. Ooh, don't let it move. Do not let it move. There you go. Nice. There you go. So I do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions stuck there. I love it. National focus, gun, drum, board, ghoul hierarchy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we could do that, yeah. Ghouls aren't the best for modern or for frontline combat, but their years of experience and reliability make them perfect commanding officers. Some would call it discrimination, and they'd be probably right. But I love discrimination. <sighs> don't let, don't give them time to get more organization. Just drop them, and they're dropping like flies. Yay! Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay. That's why I'm going to do it like this. Here, you have someone else. You do this. You just hold the front line. That's literally it. And then you guys... There's a good place to circle. Boom, boom. Yes, it is. Oh, this is going to be a perfect place to have another small segment. There you go. That's how you do it. So we only 0.75, which sucks, especially when we're going to lose more political power, but whatever. Uh, better class of villain. Ooh. Way more population. Experience soldier losses goes down. Army professionalism. Um, Gulf aid preparation, refugees to settle, and uh, customs, autarky, criminal economy, it's still it's not very good. Uh, oh, okay, sure, why not? And we have enough population as is, but okay, we'll take it. Why not? And go over here, yes, very nice. My goal is awesome. Very ghoulish army. So you guys go right there. <clears throat> we have stuff because we can. Manpower is fine. More than fine, honestly. Uh, for this, tanks, cars, naval stuff. Don't really need that yet. Normal relations. I like the daily compliance game, but we're already pretty good. Um, going out here would be make more sense. We can get more simulation. 
We should have no outsider general, honestly, but whatever. It's more compliance this way is not bad. You get more non more non core manpower and whatnot. And you can assimilate things faster, so. They should, we should assimilate as many people as possible so they can all become peasants under us and learn our rule. Three more divisions, including special forces? Oh, yes, I believe so, too. Beautiful. And I'm looking at what? Next. Right here. Right there. After that, we'll get dry general attack as well. Still making 52, 54, I guess. Oh, the portal needs this first. That, no, that one. That's nice. Alright, you ready? You ready, 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 and there you go. So then after you get into there. Ah. Well, let's get this one done first, and we'll get another uh, soldier up here too. Under bridge were annexed. I think these guys have a lot of manpower. Yeah, they've got a crap ton of manpower. So really destroying their equipment is going to be the most important thing. All the National Guard, unfortunate for them. You guys are going to need to like force it or something here. What is going on? First airplane wise, how are we doing? Wow, they're out of range, that's why. <clears throat> So we need an air base. <coughs> Excuse me. Or you just force it. There we go. go hierarchy. Better class of villain. Let's do this one first. Hidden compartments. So we are on. Oh, that hard. Oh, we need one more. Oh, oh wait. Get one more. Hit him in the rear is good. always good. Do not let them move. One's left. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, finally, thank God. We got him. There you go. Probably Hell's Mountains and it doesn't help with that's motorized too. There you go. Ooh, that was pretty expensive. Um, it's not a really good place. But we could do like this maybe. It's four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna throw these guys in to be then then we'll do, definitely do full encirclement. Spec ops looking a little better. Demo equipment we could use a little bit more stuff on as well. Go to three, lower by one. To three as well. So double special force is going to be kind of difficult to beat. Might just be able to do it though. So range left for them, which is good. Should focus more on planes as well. Get there, get there, get there. But, uh, better class of villains? There are many reasons to fight in the wasteland. Honor, glory, power, to name a few. But these reasons all have the same flaw. You can't buy a match with honor and glory. The pursuit of profit is the most logical, most noble reason to fight, and will stand and make a healing. Airborne theory. Uh, heavy support. Alright, not bad. Cha-ching. Stick one. Can you piss each other as you can? Even on the template, they, they do have anti tank. They're 20 combo with two, huh? As long as these guys don't move, that's what I'm most concerned about. Do not move. Do not move. Let's repeat itself. You look at the most injured one.
Don't let her move. If they do, it has to be very minimally. Alright, strong back. Let's see, survivalist. This one's always good to do. Life giver is very good. 10% more is very good. Keep one there, and you're down there. And now you should be over here. And come on, come on, come on, come on. They've got him. It's, there's some surface. Everyone, I'll hold, hold. Crap. No, you know, no, 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 no. You are not allowed to go that way. You are allowed to die there, though. There you go. All right, so everyone else just kind of hang out and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divisions now. I'm going to radio. Got some decryption. And you guys are here, so I'm going to do this like this. This can't quite reach. That's okay. And they're in. Should be soon. Right there. Nice. And they pop and die. And like these guys are all gonna pop and die too. One, two, three, six divisions. Very nice. Very good. And there to there. 0.56 is so bad, and having no stability sucks. Put that down here. Um, could assimilate them, but whatever. Okay, do that for now. Do that. Easy solution. Set up procurement. Address measures. Generalissimo. Followers. Mobilize the people. Meh. Don't really need that either. Supplies are gonna suck. But what else is new? You know? Twice two lifetimes, nice. Very nice. Do not let them move. No, thank you, sir. And you guys gotta hurry up with this. You gotta force it. That two two divisions in that province? Way too easy and light. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Get your butts in there. Come on. Come, my God. Okay, everyone, just go. Force it. You're not, you're allowed to die on the front lines. Go. Just go ahead. This is a very awkward tile over here. Very awkward. There you go. Win or lose. Or win or die, really. Ooh, now they're forcing defense too. Nice. It's definitely a mistake by them, but that's okay. Doing an adequate amount of damage could be better, but whatever. Seraph Lord's nice. Lost, I lost 7,000. They lost 8,000. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Pretty good. Free fighters are very difficult to beat, or at least it can be. Oh, they do some anti tank rifles now. Trace code modifications, awesome. 11,000 manpower left. Russell mongers doesn't really help them out. That's pretty good. Breakthrough 10% is very nice. More disability, more division attack defense is pretty good. Group of population, less stress muscatus is also not bad either. And they could save unassimilated refugees, broken masks. I think there's more than just her masks. <clears throat> Up next, uh, I forgot which one did. I, I did this one last time, so if you're gonna do this again, please go ahead. There we go. Very nice. Better recovery rate. Nice. Six divisions of these guys. Very nice. If anything, I want you to hop over. Nice, 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 good. Because 
if you can do that, you guys get over here, because taking out the tile, and if they could actually just make a line here. Really bad. What the hell are you doing? Really bad for us. Alright, so now what do we do here? Grab a dude. Now we don't have to promote him. God dang it. Wow, why does it cost so much? Oh, he's a I hate that. I hate Lone Wolf so much. There you go, that's better. His abilities are what? Fortune Finder? Not bad. Strong, chance enduring. No, good, good. Get that guy too. Because he can get beloved leader for even more organization. Nice. The goal is to trap them all here. This guy just trapped. Oh, H and H cool. tools. That's pretty good. So now that I've left is that one. Nice, 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 nice. Good, 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 good. And we're out of portable radius, but what else is new? Ah, this is literally a last stand for them. Very nice. Ah, and there they go. Overall, not bad. A little difficult to get through, though, but, you know, overall, not bad. We the neighbors. After securing new northern territories, we should take down and introduce ourselves to your united brothers and sisters. We may not always see eye to eye, but our joint victories demonstrate that together there's no chance that the cartels cannot accomplish. And we'll probably, yeah, like I said last time, do partners in crime. Guarantee them. Their respective equals. Next time we'll do confessions. Blue exorcism. The destruction of the free fires. The fate of the last mascara must be decided. While well, El Santo and Lil Mil mascara fight uh, back to back to the last. The luchador is known as Blue Demon were nowhere to be seen. Now, weeks after the demise, our trackers have brought in the cowardly luchador. We're faced with a threat of execution. Has offered his fealty to the victorious cartels in exchange for his life. Everyone has a price. No loose ends. Uh, I think next time, remind me, we'll do this one. And he's a hollow leader, huh? Leader experience gain. No loose ends. We are a Mexican drug cartel. Why would we have loose ends? Uh, this guy. Fuck this guy. Um. Where is it? It's the same one as Inspiration, which I love Inspiration because you get more XP. Curvy rate and reinforcement, which is not bad, but. You do that, I guess. God dang it. I don't trust these guys. So, which means you guys will go like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but we'll have the more than five skates over there. You guys will hopefully not die over here. And then you guys will probably go over here. I'll probably send you guys down here. And we'll go one, two, three. There you go. That's how it works. That's how it works in my head. Easy solution. Nice. Why not? We make enough money. Millies? Civvies? Cool. Partners with benefits, partners in crime, thinking bigger. Well, certainly annoyance finally dealt with. It's time for the cartel to look outwards. We've been content to spread our influence by a subterfuge so far, but our victory over the luchadors has shown the benefits of military might. Let's mix things up a bit. Can we take you guys out too? It took a while, and he falls ill. Oh! Little guys, well, rewrite the will. Trelock's recent deceasement is true tragedy, but it's even more tragic that we didn't get anything out of it. The former lands of that overblown to us are free pickings as far as we're concerned. Partners of crime. While we're not exactly the best of friends, no one can deny the importance of a reliable ally. We should pursue a separate but allied relationship with the brothers for mutual uh, success. The new defense. neighbors. Reunions are always a touching affair, pushing against the luchadors on both sides. The two cartel forces finally made contact in the aftermath of the long overdue victory. While reports of scattered altercations have arisen, the two sides have remained amicably, uh, remain amicable, and the respective leaders met as fellow victors as in the city, capture city of Los Muches, which is a pretty good thing overall. El bandito sangriento, I presume. And of course, we're going to rewrite the will. The only game in town. The Generalissimo is a great man, but also a very unstable one. If we are to continue business with him, a more equitable relationship is necessary. Failing that, we'll simply stab him in the back like the naive fool he is. The little boys. Or the uh, <clears throat> guys, uh, guys. It'd be rude to neglect the minor nations of Mexico that have yet to be annihilated by the major powers. We should take time to fully exploit them for the inevitable tragic demise. The big picture. Oh. Your child could be a dangerous thing in these high strong times. The current power balance is likely to shift. It would pr be prudent if we align ourselves with a likely winner before we ourselves become a target. Respective equals. Respect is more than a simple acknowledgement. It is a fundamental basis of all relationships. <clears throat> if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. 
Um, respect between neighboring cartel leaders armed with the teeth is even more important. Scrap it. Learn from this. We're gonna scrap it. And now, my friends, we've just gone to war with Zapata. Good guy, good guy, but he's gotta die. Like all the others. Uh, let's go in here, and then we'll go with the ta-da, and then da-da, and then we'll cut off everyone from the capital. Even though they're looking extremely weak. Why are they looking so weak? Alright, let's go in. Let's have a good old time. Um, do we get they in the silo? Leon, huh? Of course, this doesn't. Wow. Texas Development Zone. Real back getting kind of large. If we want to beat them up, we got to do even bigger things than that, but whatever. Um, who are these guys next? Leon. Then. So. We write the will. Torion. Huh. <clears throat> Guarantee them, give them military access, pretty normal stuff. Great silo, Torion. Right, let's repeat yourself. Oh, there's a lair, okay. Ah, I get some real pack day. Yeah, they're, they're looking extraordinary. Why are they so weak? Oh, it's not our problem. Our problem is that we don't have to eat them up faster. Put the lair. Oh, they're finding those guys too. That's fine. Whatever. No one cares. Okay. We'll take whatever we need. As we should. Um, in the meantime, we have 21% stability. We're retelling the story once again. Uh, we don't have enough money ever, but whatever. That's pretty normal. Uh, even in real life. Uh, here, go here too. Because we need more radios, unfortunately. But whatever. We'll get there. Oh, we got the radar too. That's very nice, actually. Very, very nice. So how weak are these guys now? Quite a few divisions. 1,000 manpower. Not bad. They're looking they're like the motorized aren't looking very good. And the infantry isn't looking very good either. Well, I know they're at war and such, but still. We just don't look very good because we don't have radios. Chichin, it's a, look like they're doing well. Texan Brotherhood, Legion. They're all fighting each other now. Oh, what happened up here? Wow. Why have a new Reno? Why is it, what the heck? Man, when you let the AI decide what it wants to do, it just never turns out well. It's a linguist. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There you go. How many divisions does the Rio Grande have? A crap ton. Okay. Should do more than fine. Not really any worries about that at all. If we were to fight the Republic of the Rio Grande, we'd probably do that. Um, look at this stuff over here. Can we core this? How much? Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Oh, and they cut off from the capital already. Beautiful. Look at that manpower. 62 factories. We have 14 from occupations. Nice. Invest in the people if we have to. Oh, so much stability. Just so much, as you can see. I got a lot more robots now. This is a huge border with these guys, my god. Rewrite the will, the big picture, the only game in town, the little guys, one last bout. One thing we said about the luchadors, they loved a good fight, and in light of this, one last bout we fought to commemorate our victory, only this time the match will be on cartel rules. Respect of equals. Of course, I read that earlier. Horizontal integration. Ooh, more political power. And weekly stability. Oh, finally. While we remain politically distinct, we can sh still share our various resources together. As long as the chains of command remain distinct, our cooperation can continue unhindered. Army of two. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Nice. A big picture. Uh, let's do, do one last bout. Or this one. Requires all the following. One last bout. Whatever. To surprise, the irradiated brute known as Emil Mascaras did not die in the siege of Los Mochis. Despite suffering wounds, I would have killed a normal man or ghoul thrice over. The bullfighter now sits in a bullpen, the object of mockery and ridicule by his once sworn enemies, but a life of captivity would not be a fitting end for such a legendary specimen, and it pays up, to, pays to tie up these loose ends. What finale, finale should we give the Green Giant? Rat Scorpions? A pair of Dust Devils? Bring me Deathclaw. That would be really cool. Let's go with the Rat Scorpions, this one. Let's just see what happens. An unlikely upset. Against all odds, the Green Giant managed to defeat his last foe, standing upon the animal carcass. He roared his defiance to the booing crowd alongside multiple obscene phrases and gestures. Luckily, a firing scroll was on standby to call the bastard, but it did put an emperor on what was meant to be a fun and lighthearted show. Well, that's a bit awkward. 
Well, I should have thrown in several of them then. A couple of rad scorpions, a couple, maybe a death claw after that, you know. Invest in the people? Uh, if we have to. We don't have to, I guess, technically, but, you know, whatever. We're trying to make a lot of divisions just in case we, like I said, we go to war with the Republic of the Rio Grande, so. Some of the cartel, oh man, they did take a good chunk out of Mexico already. Um, Aurora's looking a little thick. That's oh, Air Florida's Brotherhood. Coover got a little thicker. Passengers Normal Silic Nation got thicker. Great Stampede. MacArthur got big boy style. And then Standing Rock, not bad. Oh, and now we have the Provisional Republic of Texas. Dropline Attackers, nice. Probably will never make those, but that's okay. Alamo Chapter is slowly crumbling. Oh, even Houston joined the real pack? That is insane. What the heck? So we're really lacking a lot of radios. Power armor not for our cartel. Not this campaign. Maybe the next one. Motorized, basic caravan stuff, support equipment, fighters, bomb gliders. I don't see that. Air blockers, I hate those. Mm, go with that stuff. Tone down oppression. What are you, crazy? So about halfway to this one. Um, I don't really want to go to war with anyone, anyone else just yet. Confessions, is love a tender thing? Wedding bells, airborne theory? Plans are no longer a method to go a go to method for drug running, mainly due to how conspicuous they are. But it's supplementary to our ground force. It's possible that the shock and awe factor alone is worth the cost of further development. Bad. Oh, nice. And one more. Good. Just in case. Heavy sport. Any strategy that puts an inch of steel between me and enemy fires is a strategy I support. Blockade runners. Yeah. A pipe gun on a boat is pretty similar to a pipe gun on land, only that there's a lot of water lying around if it overheats. Depth cools. Where a ball is not perfectly or particularly built for aquatic activities, there are some unexpected benefits in terms of naval capacity. Ghouls don't need much in terms of supplies and are unlikely to, to catch any illnesses, and while poorly suited to swimming, they can hold their breath for a remarkably long time, all things considered. No more pre pretense. Oh, wow. Well... We are now a true ocean ferry nation. While some of our boats might have leaks, all of them have very nasty guns in terms of soft power. This is a sticking point. Yaki Harbor. Fuente Harbor. Huh. More naval experience gained every day was not bad. Santiago Junction. Um, Rio Santiago might not be the most important river on the coast, but with a monopoly over the trade, or its trade, it would be quite profitable to fully maximize your pretense on the river. We've only given chance for the past few decades. <clears throat> Sinola cartels have had to play a second fiddle to the whims of the Generalissimo. Non-compete clauses, guaranteed markets, and exclusion of Hento del Sol from cartel operations are but a few of the indignities. This unequal relationship foisted upon us. But, with Legidor threat defeated and the cartels united once more, an opportunity has arisen for us to rectify the situation. We can use our newfound strength to build a mutual alliance with Hento. The option also exists for us to finally spread our influence into Hento. Will that be by infiltration for more forceful methods? I'm thinking for now, let's set up shop. Next time I play, uh, play Sinola, we'll just invade them. So... That's an idea. Another manpower. I love it. Um, you guys are probably busy. Almost out of manpower. You guys don't have that many divisions. Well, we could, but... I don't know. We'll see. And this we'll see. is pretty much where we're probably going to end up being, everybody. Um, it was fun. Overall, not bad. Uh, Vulpus has won, I guess... Well, maybe he hasn't won yet, but he's, he's struggling a lot. But regardless, uh, this was a really fun campaign. Um, we're doing really well, and I just got tired of trying to fight the Republic of the Rio Grande. So, it is what it is, but if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great cartel rest of your day.